All right, as leader of the Mac customer satisfaction team, I'm supposed to ask you, uh, do you like the new MacBook Air? Well, the design is cool and all that, but the, the price is kind of high, and the M2 chip wasn't that much better than the M1 chip, and you know, All right, I gotcha. Make a bigger one, please. Wait, that, I, I didn't say anything about the size. Oh, okay, you don't want a bigger one? Don't make a bigger one. Well, hold on, it's, it's not that I don't want a bigger one, it's just that there are other issues issues I had with the M2 MacBook Air. True, you're not making any sense right now. Am I supposed to make a bigger one or not? I, I, I just want you to fix the silicon and also make a bigger one with better battery life at the same time, right? Picky, picky, picky. Okay, here we is go. That, is that too much to ask? Okay, okay let's begin. So we're getting a couple of reports, which are kind of getting me excited because sounds like the 15 inch MacBook Air could hypothetically only be a couple months away. But that's where the conflicting parts of the reports come in because Ross Young, who's a very accurate supply chain analyst, but I think ever since he got some fame, he's quick to kind of jump the gun on a lot of reports, thought that we would have a mini LED pro display or mini LED iMac by now, but it keeps getting pushed back further and further and further. But he most recently said that production for the 15 inch LCD which he's pretty sure is for this new MacBook Air because it's not 120 Hertz it's not mini LED so we can basically rule out this is not for the 14 inch or 16 inch MacBook Pros also those just got refreshed so that's not it but this is a Mac display which he said is going into production and should be ready for a release in early April which had me like whoa already that quickly I mean we knew that there was supposed to be one coming out at some time this year but I was excited to know that it was coming that soon but also a little disappointed because I knew well if it's coming out in April that reduces the chances of it actually being on the three nanometer architecture which means Apple could hypothetically just drop a 15 inch MacBook Air and it has the exact same M2 chip from last year which you know for a lot of people that's fine you know I guess for the market of the MacBook Air the people buying that MacBook are specifically the ones that don't care about the 14 inch and 16 inch MacBook Pros because those are thicker those are more expensive. Honestly, they're just flat out better laptops overall, but of course, this MacBook would be targeting people who are like, I don't need all of that crazy pro hardware. I just want a bigger display and I don't want to have to pay $2,500 for it. So I guess that wouldn't be the end of the world, but Digitimes, who is definitely nowhere near as accurate as Ross Young, came out with a report more recently that kind of goes against that early April timeline, or at least disagrees with it a little bit more because Digitimes is shooting more broadly saying at some point, in the second quarter, Apple is going to have the 15-inch MacBook Air ready, and they're saying that this 15-inch MacBook Air would be on M3, which of course is the 3 nanometer architecture, which means much faster than M2, much more efficient, better battery life, and that kind of thing. And launching that new MacBook Air in summertime, basically at Dub Dub in June, that's a lot more believable and sounds more right to me than an April release, just because, you know, I'm sure that TSMC is mass producing 3 nanometer chips right now, but it would be very odd and very awkward for Apple to have an event. Maybe it's a spring event, maybe it's a site refresh where you update the Mac Pro with the M2 Ultra chip and simultaneously drop the M3 chip because Apple's probably not going to want to announce the Mac Pro and then like two seconds later showcase. By the way, this is the way better architecture. We could have waited for this, but we figured, hey, you suckers better buy the new Mac Pro. So knowing how Apple likes to space out releases now, my updated prediction, which I think I was wrong about in the past is that maybe Apple will have an M2 Ultra Mac Pro ready for a spring event, whether that's late March or maybe early April. That way, all of the pros and all of the YouTubers can blow all their money on these Mac Pros only for the M3 chip to be announced a couple of months later in June. And that's when we'll get the M3 MacBook Air, which was definitely a lot sooner than I was anticipating. In previous streams and videos, I was guessing that the 15-inch Air wouldn't be ready until, you know, an October or November event. Like, that's usually when Apple Apple drops a lot of the Mac laptop upgrades, but that's the one thing in agreement here between Digitimes and Ross Young is that these bigger MacBook Airs are going to be ready within a matter of months, which is kind of exciting. I just really, really hope that Digitimes is right about it being the M3 chip because it would just be such a unfortunate and kind of boring release if, okay, here's a big one, but it's the exact same chip as before. But honestly, I'm kind of excited about this laptop to enter the market because people have been asking for larger MacBooks that aren't pros for so 
such a long time now and Apple's basically never done it. For a while they had 11 inch MacBook Airs and 13 inch MacBook Airs, but those things were just way too tiny. And they had aluminum bezels, so ugh. But now that it sounds like we're just a few months away from an actual large MacBook, which means probably a fanless design, which hopefully because it's fanless, bigger battery and very thin and thanks to the three nanometer architecture, still probably much faster than the M2 chip, which means it's kind of closing that gap between M2 and M1 Pro. And I think Apple will probably price it a little bit higher than most people want. My guess is $1,800, but hopefully I'm wrong and they target it closer to $1,500 or $1,600, in which case I could see that easily starting to become the most popular MacBook in the lineup because big screen, big battery life, and for a lot cheaper than the 14 inch MacBook Pro. So not really a MacBook for me because I don't find the MacBook Pros that thick or heavy and I love their displays and performance and the extra ports and all that but I'm very interested to see how Apple launches this and how well it sells or is it just going to be another iPhone 14 plus situation so let me know when you think it's going to release Apple's doing weird things this year so maybe none of them are right and they drop it in a site refresh in May or something all your thoughts and predictions feel free to drop them down in the comments below and thank you to everybody on Talos of Tech Pro for supporting this channel directly seriously helps us out a ton as does just watching these videos so this is your Apple Sheep here I'll see y'all in the next one.